Good morning, Pastor Heather here, Clarksville First United Methodist Church. I'm so glad that you have joined us for today's online worship service, and I pray that this service is going to uplift you and encourage you and inspire you for the week ahead. Our service today on Sunday, August the 9th, is all about putting God first, which is a teaching from the scripture that we ought to employ in our lives each and every day so that we can live our best spiritual lives. Today, our special music is going to be provided by Teresa Fine and Julia Frost. Teresa is going to be playing the handbells while Julia accompanies her on the piano. And it's going to be a blessing to you. I know, I know, I know it will. Because we haven't heard from the handbells since we've been doing online worship. And so I hope that that encourages and inspires you. Today, we're going to begin our worship service with the Lord's Prayer. And so would you pray with me? Julie and I are going to play Great is Thy Faithfulness by William Runyon and arranged by Christine Anderson.
begin this morning by telling you that I received a gift about a week ago. Uh, there's a lady in town who has befriended me uh, ever since I've moved here and she's been telling me she wanted to bring me a special gift that would encourage me in this difficult and trying time that we're all living through. And so last week, lo and behold, I show up at the office and there in a gift bag is this book. Now, if you know me, and most of you do, um, if you know me, you know that my favorite daily devotional book is God Calling by A.J. Russell. But I also happen to own Jesus Calling by Sarah Young, and Jesus Always is her newest, latest, I think, um, devotional book put out in 2016. And so I want to say thank you to Sharon for that sweet and thoughtful gift. It will indeed be an encouragement to me. I'm very thankful for this gift because A, as a pastor, and maybe you agree with this too, you can never have too many daily devotional books. I love them. In fact, I collect them. And so, um, but I also am so thankful because I'm really enjoying this book. It has really great messages and scripture verses to think about and to ponder each and every day. And so I thought for this morning's message, what I would do would be share a devotional for August the 9th from this new book of mine, Jesus Always. And I'm going to share the August the 9th message with you. But before I share the message with you, for you to think about this week, I want to read to you the scripture verses that today's message is based upon. Today's first verse is Psalm 4610, which says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And then from Hebrews 4.12, which says, For the word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. That verse goes on to say that the scripture discerns the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And then finally from Proverbs 3, verse 6, which says, In everything you do, put God first, and he will direct you, and crown your efforts with success. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. And so let me read today's devotional to you. It says, Come rest with me, beloved. Though many tasks are calling to you, urging you to put them first, I know what you need most, to be still in my presence. So take some deep breaths and fix your gaze upon me. And as you return your attention to me, let all your concerns roll off like water off a duck's back. Let them just roll off because doing this will enable you to relax and to enjoy my nearness and know that I am never far from you. And then as you focus on my nearness, meditate upon the scriptures. Search for me in your Bible. Let my words of grace and truth soak into the depths of your soul and draw you closer to me. For my word is living and active and powerful so it can infuse fresh life into you. And then when it is time to return to your tasks, bring me into those activities. Include me in your plans and in your problem solving. I am relevant to everything you do, everything you say, and everything you think. Whisper my name, Jesus, in sweet remembrance of my nearness. And in everything you do, put me first, for I am the Lord of your life. 
I don't know about you, but I think that's a great devotional, especially as we approach the midpoint of August and everybody starts to get more and more uh, into crunch time, getting ready for school to start again. I think it's a great devotional for us to hear today to remind us to put God first. I love this devotional because it doesn't just say put God first. We hear that a lot, but it reminds us of three specific things that we ought to do to help us put God first. One, it reminds us to slow down, to be still, to take time to just be still in the presence of God and to notice his nearness and to notice and to sense and to feel his presence within you and beside you. Love that. It's a great um, reminder for us, especially in a busy time of year. The other thing this devotional talks about is staying in God's word. No matter how many things we have on our to-do list, no matter how many uh, tasks we have to accomplish to get ready for the school year to start or to launch into the, get ready for the fall, right? We have to take time each and every day to stay in God's word and to allow this powerful, active, alive word to speak to us, to mold and to shape us and to challenge us. And it also, this devotional also reminds us to bring Jesus into our daily lives, into our daily decisions, into our daily problem solving. Everything that we face on any given day, everything we think, everything we say, everything we do, this devotional reminds us to bring Jesus into that moment with us. And to remember that he's right there beside us to help us, to aid us, to guide us at all times. And I'll tell you what, this week as I read this devotional, I was reminded of two classes that I took during seminary years ago. And both of those classes were on spiritual formation. I took one my first semester and I took that same, a similar class my last semester, both on spiritual formation. And in those classes, I learned many lessons about what it takes in terms of spiritual discipline to keep your um, spiritual life healthy and vital and to keep your connection to Christ for ministry strong and powerful. And so um, I learned a lot of lessons in those classes, but probably three of the most important lessons that I learned are in this actual devotional from today. Lessons about taking time to be still in the presence of God and notice and pay attention to and feel, really truly feel the presence of God in you and around you and with you, right? And then we also learned lessons about really diving into and studying God's word and letting it speak to you and shape you and change you. Um, and we also learned lots and lots about um, carrying Christ into our daily activities, from the mundane activities to the really high, uh, spiritually important activities to carry Christ into those activities with us. And you know, it's not new information to say, be still and know that I am God. Take time to be still and listen for the still small voice of God. That's not really new um, information. And it's not really new information for somebody to tell you to really dive deep into the Word of God and to let it shape you, right? But something that had never really occurred to me when I took spiritual formation, I'm so glad to be reminded of it in this devotional today, is to actually take Christ with you into your daily activities. I want to read that part again. When it says, when it says here, when it is time to return to your tasks, bring me into those activities. Include me in your plans and in your problem solving because I am relevant to everything you do and everything you say and everything you think. And as you do all of these things, whisper my name, Jesus, in sweet remembrance that I am near you. Now you might be noticing, uh, you can't really see it, but um, I'm wearing a cross necklace today. Uh, let me put it up closer. I'm wearing a cross necklace today. I have many, many crosses. And um, I used to wear a cross necklace every single day. <laughs> I, I've gotten out of the habit of doing that because cross, um, necklaces kind of bother me these days. But I used to wear a cross necklace every single day. And part of the reason I did that was because in the spiritual formation class, 
we talked about carrying Christ with us. When you wake up in the morning, spend your time being quiet, noticing, feeling, sensing the presence of God, read your scriptures, let the word of God speak to you, and then get up from your bed or your breakfast table and carry Christ with you. Whether you're going to Walmart or you're going to class or you're going to your job or whether you're going for a walk, whether you're going to the gym, wherever you're going, take Christ with you. Invite him into and include him in all of your decision making, all of your problem solving, all of the things that you do in any day's time. That's why I used to wear this cross because when I would walk into Walmart, I might encounter someone who really looked like they needed someone to talk to or listen to them or to share a word of encouragement with them. And when I would doubt that I was the right one, I would hold on to that cross and maybe rub it and put it close to my heart. And that would remind me of Christ's nearness to me and that I'm carrying him with me and within me. And then the Holy Spirit and I would enc encounter that person in the aisle at Walmart. And we would speak Jesus' word to that person. And all, so often it would be exactly what that person needed to hear or exactly what I needed to hear, right? <laughs> because this kind of works both ways. I love this message that's in this devotional for today. And I hope that's something that you can take away from this message. Maybe you're not going to wear a cross necklace every day. Um, but maybe, you know, some people carry a penny in their pocket. I mean, lots of us have change in our pocket, but they carry a penny in their pocket specifically because it has in God we trust on it. And just carry that in your pocket to remind you every day that God is with you and that you are an ambassador for God and that God is going to use you if you will avail yourself to being used for God's purposes and open yourself up to the inflowing and outflowing of the Holy Spirit in and through you to other people. That is a great message. And so thanks again, Miss Sharon, for my book. And thanks to all of you for listening to this devotional today. I hope it inspires and encourages and blesses you. And now prepare your hearts for our choral benediction. <laughs> Yeah.